I'm Nick James and this is DT Daily. Coming up, a pen that writes cells onto bones, the lucrative but deadly business of stolen cell phones, and a Russian UFO case is back in the spotlight. These days, pens aren't just for writing down things when you can't find your smartphone to tap on. Now you can use pens to write down circuitry or with this bio pen, deposit a healing layer of cells onto a bone surface during surgery. Developed in Australia, the MediPen lays down a layer of cells mixed with a bone-friendly material like seaweed extracts. Mm-mm. The pen can paint cells onto damaged bone and cartilage during surgery, which then multiply and grow into nerves, muscles, or bone, according to the pen's developer. Doctors say it can be very effective at treating victims quickly following a car crash or some other traumatic injury. But it's probably not so good at scribbling down someone's digits in the club. In the U.S., if someone steals your smartphone, you can usually brick it remotely, complain to your friends, and then plunk down 200 bucks for a new one. But not in Colombia, where the market for stolen smartphones is blazing hot since terrorists have driven up the price of a decent phone to more than $1,000. In response, the Colombian government has released a series of somewhat gruesome and somber ads to wean customers off their stolen phone habit. Of course, many of the hot phones come from the U.S. and are sold by the same cartels that peddle drugs. So far, Colombian authorities claim 20 people were killed when they refused to give up their precious mobile tech and were shot to death by the phone nappers. So if your phone starts dripping blood, you may want to request a refund from the guy on the corner you just got it from or not. You've probably heard of that big UFO crash, alien autopsy, and government cover-up. Roswell, right? Wrong. We're talking about the 1969 incident in UFO-loving Russia, where sightings are common and make the evening news along with sports and weather. Now, two somewhat reputable Russian news outlets, including Pravda, are suggesting Ruski scientists have known about aliens for decades and even set up multiple sites to study UFOs near military and weapons installations where they apparently like to congregate and see what we're up to. Hoax? Real deal? We've got some links below to the story and videos and we'd love to read your comments on whether you think aliens live among us or it's all just weather balloons and swamp gas. That's DT Daily for today. We'll see you next week.